is up welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to be going through a crazy ninja knight course now if you don't know what ninja knight is ninja knight is something my ninja warrior gym does every thursday and it's kind of just like a mini competition course it's a course run that we do and it's not a formal competition it's just like for breaking rights podium rights but it's super duper fun and they create really fun courses and this course that i'm gonna, going to show you is the craziest course that i have ever seen and i thought it was super duper cool this was just insane so first i'm going to give you a little bit of a course overview and then i'll show you my run and guys uh national ninja league world is in two weeks two weeks guys so i will be doing a full vlog on that as well as filming my runs going through them let me know what all you want on that i will definitely be doing a vlog and some course commentary on that but let's get straight into this epic ninja knight course okay guys so the first obstacle was pretty simple it was just a balance beam to a bosu and then it's the picture doesn't quite show it but a little off camera there's just a landing platform just right in front of it this was originally designed to have the lights off yes guys this was originally supposed to have the lights off when you first started and then you had to like touch this sort of optical thing to turn the lights back on but unfortunately the timer for the course would not work with the lights off so it was very fairly simple first obstacle but i thought it was really cool that the idea was to have the lights off at first second obstacle was just going under these black uh kind of poles with um that were held up by cones next obstacle was insane guys it was laches but with a twist there were balloons all over the laches it was crazy it was just it was just some simple laches it was like a, f a five foot a four or five foot maybe a six foot and then a seven or eight foot and, and but th the balloons made it really fun and i thought that was really really a fun addition to it you could not like knock the balloons off or pop them was the trick next obstacle was this balance roller but with a twist as well it was on the padding which made it a lot less stable and you also had to go under the devil steps so you kind of had to squat down as well and i uh, i don't know if you can see that blue gem kind of by the pink ball down there but you had to get to that and it was a little off center and everything was just very unstable on the padding so i thought that was kind of a extra twist to it next up was some balance obstacles but you had to collect the toys from like the ground and you had to get them to a landing platform i've actually done this on my slack line before so i kind of knew what to do but i thought that was also very fun next up was just some simple stepping uh s stepping balance obstacles but you could not use the bosus or the gems it was a little bit of a mind trick because there was not like anything really s like indicating that you could not use them except for the rules so if you accidentally stepped on one that would not give you the point so playing some mind tricks on you right here and then this next one was really interesting you jumped into the spider wall but there were math equations on the sides so you had to get the math equation correct on that that was super interesting i've never seen that done in a course before i thought that was really fun and then next obstacle was a flying swirl to a winding which is pictured right now i'm holding on to the winding right now to a bird box and then that's up there with the two slots if you can see it and then just to a landing platform fairly simple and then the last obstacle was a trampoline jump to a really really far circle up to uh unstable board and then you had to make a huge lache from a, a bar to a rock wall and then hit the buzzer so guys that was the course run now i'm going to show you how i did on it there's some of my teammates they're so funny All right, guys. So first up is the simple balance obstacle. I get pretty nervous while I was going kind of slow, but there you can see that it was just a simple dismount. And then here's trying to go under. You can see that I thought I hit my feet under there, but it turns out I didn't. And it kind of made the other one kind of pop up. You could touch them, but you could not like knock them off. 
try to be as efficient as through it as possible. And then next was the balloon laches. Now, I've had shoulder problems for about nine months now, and I'm do not, I don't feel very comfortable with bar to bar laches. So I was pretty nervous for this, but I managed to get through the first two without any problem. And I just decided not commit to, not to commit to the last one since my shoulder habit has been having problems. This obstacle actually wasn't reset, so I was just resetting it a little bit. No big deal though. When I stepped on it, the padding like went down on me and it made it made this a whole lot harder typically this balance roller is super duper easy on flat ground but the padding made it really like soft and squishy and hard and especially like going under the devil steps since i'm pretty tall i had to like fully squat down almost on that so that made it a little extra harder than usual and i actually make i get a little careless here at the end after i stand back up so you, and i kind of wobble on the balance roller but i managed to save it and then i have to pick up all of these toys that were on the balance obstacles and i may, managed to make another epic save there but and then i i just that was the last toy that i had to pick up and I wasn't very efficient here. I should have just rolled it forward. And the landing platform was like literally right there. But I guess I was just too nervous to kind of fully commit to it. But next time, next time. And then I managed not to step on any BOSUs or gems. So that was good. One person did accidentally touch a BOSU. And play this. that one definitely plays some mind tricks on you. Now, I was actually looking for the math equation because it was very, very hard to see. There's my friend talking. <laughs> it was very hard to see because um, on the clear glass, it makes it very like transparent. But I did manage to find both the math equations. And then on this next one, I definitely could have been a, a bit more efficient. I could have just jumped back and lashed right there, but I decided to take an extra swing. I definitely shot my feet forward a little bit more on this and i definitely could have gone right there but i take an extra sw That course was super awesome. That was one of the most creative courses and probably the craziest course I've ever seen before. I did fairly well uh, considering my injuries. Uh, for the, uh, the only ones I missed were the laches. Like I said, my shoulder has not been doing very well recently for the past nine months. So I'm not very comfortable with bar to bar laches yet. And for the trampoline jump at the end, um, I'm just, I don't think I'm very good at trampoline jumps. Definitely something I need to work on. And overall, I could have been a little bit more efficient on the course, but I haven't been training to the max as I should have been since of my injuries lately. But overall, that was a really, really fun course. I really enjoyed it and crazy, crazy obstacles. Well guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. We are so close to 300 subscribers. Make sure to get me there. Comment down below any video ideas you have, any comments on this video, just in general, any questions, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks.